Hey guys, for the first time ever, Respawn is completely reworking a character. This new Revenant looks insane. Uh, hi, I'm Evan Fennell. I'm a game designer on Apex, working on the new Revenant rework. I think he's definitely going to be a fun new character that that everyone that can kind of play. Like, I see a lot of movement techies, you know, getting really excited to play him. Revenant uh, is in a whole new kit. For Revenant's passive, uh, we're calling it Assassin's Instinct. Uh, we wanted to kind of keep the faster crouch speed and the wall climb from uh, before. It's, it's kind of an iconic part of his old kit. So his wall climb has been improved to give him more horizontal movement. He's also able to see nearby enemies that are low on health. And if Revenant gets them low himself, he'll mark that enemy's position for his team which then he can use the, uh, his brand new tactical uh, Shadow Pounce for. Shadow Pounce allows him to unleash a powerful leap forward that lets him close the gap between him and his prey. Uh, he can use it to reach height on a wall to quickly transition into the improved wall climbing or to simply reposition for a better angle uh, and you can hold the tactical to charge it to leap even farther. Uh, Revenant's new ultimate is called Forge Shadows, which creates a shroud of shadows around him that protects him from direct incoming damage, which includes things like melee, bullets, and explosives, but not uh, radius or AoE effects like the ring, fire, or caustic gas. The shroud increases Revenant's upper body hitbox, making him an easier target to hit when he's barreling down on you, but if you break his shadows, they will start to re slowly recharge over time and damaging Revenant while they are recharging will briefly pause the regen. Revenant is vulnerable when his shields are down, taking normal shield and health damage, but if he manages to secure a knock, it will bring back his shadows immediately and extend the duration of his ultimate up to a max of his starting time. Knocks while in your ultimate will also reset your tactical charge, allowing you to keep up the fight even if the enemy tries to escape. Uh, I think a lot of people will enjoy playing him in, in pubs, but what do you think about his pick rate in comp? Do you think he will be uh really good in comp at all or do you think he will stay kind of primarily in the public matches i think he has some potential to be a pretty strong entry fragger uh because he has a lot of fast movement he has this added protection his passive gives a lot of important information to his team there's definitely i think a potential uh of him appearing a lot more uh in in algs and in competitive matches but yeah i think in public matches he's just he's definitely going to be a lot more fun to play and just really lean into and survive in some of those more aggressive play patterns so he's, he's going to be a blast, I think, in both, but we'll see how it, how his pick rate goes in, in LGS. This is all only applied to him, like the shadows? Uh, yes, his like shadows only surround him, but it can be used in pretty some pretty creative ways to kind of help protect your team. Uh, like if you're reviving, it, it kind of is like giving you extra protection while you're while you're getting your teammates up. His character hitbox is remaining the same, but the ultimate kind of creates a circle around him that increases his upper body hitbox. We do have some dials in the to kind of tune him back if we find he's over-indexing in live, but I think he's going to be sitting pretty pretty well in the in the uh, next upcoming season. Um, we really want players to kind of get a sense of his new power and play style coming into the season, so we're, we're keeping him pretty hot. Why did, you, why did you only make it where whenever they're low, you can see them and they'll highlight them, but not through walls, you know, like, it's pretty much only line of sight. So what made you come up with only line of sight and not like through just buildings in general? Yeah, uh, specifically, we didn't want to make it a wall hack. Um, we wanted the highlight to help you narrow in on who the weak opponents are, but still have it ha have to uh, give chase to them. So you only get the, the slight wall hack marker that shows up when Revenant himself uh, gets the enemy low, um, but that only lasts for a couple seconds uh, and then goes away. So it's it's still a way to just kind of follow up on that um, on that initial damage. So. I see. And does his teammates see that they're highlighted as well? Like, let's say you said if Revenant were to do the damage and get him low, it marks them. But let's say his teammates were to get them low, and then he has that natural like highlight. Does his teammates see those uh, that slight highlight as well, or no? Uh, no, only Revenant sees the highlight that outlines around uh, the enemy. Uh, his allies, if they get them low, uh, don't see anything. Um, it's only when Revenant gets the enemy low that he kind of pings out to everybody uh, where their last known position was so that they can kind of come assist in the, and finish you off the team. Okay. Um, were there any other, I guess, like extra buffs that you were thinking about giving to his passive um i know that like obviously having having a little outline around somebody is like a really big indicator and can help the people like when they're fighting and having more confidence because they just like visually can see that someone is like 40 hp 
um were you ever thinking about you know giving them like a buff where maybe he reloads faster or he gets something maybe if he knocks that guy who is being scanned uh his his ability might come back you know was that ever in a, uh, the thought uh we did have a few different prototypes that kind of like played with different uh ideas around the the low health knock and, and rewarding you on that um but we decided to more keep that uh keep the pass as something that was like a call to action that then was uh, answered by his other abilities in the kit so answered by his tactical uh so he has to follow up and chase them down uh or by his ultimate and just giving him that extra power um and it kind of plays into his passive anyways when you're in your ultimate because you can see who's low and then use that information to be able to get um, your tactical back on your ultimate. Um, so we wanted the, the passive to be purely a target focusing and health awareness mechanic to know what prey around you is kind of low and who should be your main focus um, to be able to use your other abilities effectively. I see. Okay. Um, so you talked about his, his crouch speed and his climbing speed being a little bit different. Um, what exactly was changed um, about those two? So his uh, crouch speed is the same as it was previously, um, and his wall climb is mostly the same uh, vertically, um, but he has a lot more movement now horizontal, so uh, horizontally, so he's able to move left and right more effectively, and um, and when he falls onto a wall or grabs onto a wall, he doesn't slide down it nearly as much. He grabs on pretty sticky and then is able to climb up from there. Um, so he's just a lot better at wall climbing overall. Okay, cool. Um, is he is Revenant now able to wall hop? Because I know how like he was the only legend where if you would just slide jump and then go into a wall and you wall hop, his his wall hop would be very you know it, he wouldn't get any height, he wouldn't get any, anywhere to be honest. But I know how like uh, there are certain like uh, content creators who were actually used is wall hop to like wall hop like multiple times in like uh, a cor a corridor or like around a corner so does he still have that mechanic on him or um has it been changed uh his well so his wall climbing is a lot stickier than it used to be um so it's not uh it, it doesn't really like lead itself into the wall climb wall bouncing as much um but he's still able to kind of do the same mechanics that he was before um, and you can still use your tactical in that way to kind of throw yourself at a wall and then be able to wall bounce off of it. So I think there's a lot of still like movement potential here um, with him. I see. Okay. Um, I know this is more for like the the movement tech people, because but uh, what what made you want to change Revenant into more of a movement character coming from like obviously he has a silence and uh, you know ultimate where you have like a second life. Like what made you uh be like okay well we want to make it a leap for his tactical and then have his ult be kind of like uh bloodhound where it resets it yeah um so previously revenant's corp pattern was very zone control and poke oriented which didn't totally fit into his kind of fantasy of his like assassin -y robot um so with the new direction we, we really wanted to push revenant to be more in your face more persistent and just like really scary um which is we felt was much more in line with like who revenant is so his abilities now kind of have pushed him to be it wasn't that we set out to make him a movement character but we wanted him to be somebody that um was an, a, that kind of scary assassin who's always coming after you and you, you feel like you, he's always somewhere around you um so that was what, like what kind of leaned into his abilities to jump around uh climb walls more effectively all of that just be like that scary monster that's that's constantly lurking around you I see. Um, how long would you say that it takes for the ultimate to regen itself? Like if someone were to break it, uh, I know it has 75 HP. So let's say if they weren't to take any da other damage from another player, uh, would it? how long would it take for it to regen back to the full 47? Oh, sorry, 75. Um, so when the shield breaks, uh, it'll start to regen slowly and that... Uh currently sits around like um well, it, it sits around like nine or ten seconds um so it's a fairly long slow recharge rate um 
but uh, it doesn't actually reappear until it's fully recharged. Um, so there's no, he is fully vulnerable while, while he's in a broken state um, and it will start to recharge slowly. And if he takes any damage while it's, while it's regenerating, it'll pause briefly before starting to regen again from that point. Um, so he is kind of weakened when, when he has his shield down. Um, but when he, if he gets a knock, then it, while while he's in that, um, uh, while his shadows are down, then he's able to like regenerate it instantly. So sounds good. Uh, I see that there is some potential for sure. Like having an extra seventy five HP is huge. You know, like that is just like a straight up an extra blue armor on top of let's say you had a red armor. Uh, having your entry fragger on that could be just crazy so i see a lot of a lot of like potential in, in his kit and i'm excited to see him uh in action this rework is sick revenue will be free for all of you guys to try out this season